We're going to be drinking a very special beer tonight. So I've been saving this one for months, literally months, from May of 2021. And this is now January. I supposed to keep this for Christmas. And I did keep it for Christmas. And then I ended up with just a beer full of fridge. And this was this is actually the very last beer in the fridge. And this is the one I've been very much looking forward to it. Um, It's in Irish. Grian, Grian Dove, I think that says. Grian Dove. I think it means... Dove definitely means black. I believe it's... The other one is uh, Sun. In fact, just a, I see on the back of the label, there's a little black sun there. Um, so this is from Herman Wonster. This is a barrel-aged chocolate imperial stout, 9%. Okay, 9%. Lovely stuff. So it says, this imperial stout was brewed with nine different malts in two batches and then barrel-aged in a... Jesus. Whatever that says. Uh, whiskey cask. For a whiskey cask. Um, for six months. From the shortest night of the year to the longest. Enjoy the darkness. So there you are. So apparently Herman is saying that he's, his, his mate was supposed to be putting this in the whiskey cask. And he left it in for like five months too long. So I don't know if that means it's bad. Or it wasn't, no, it wasn't quite as good as it was, or maybe it's too whiskey. I don't really know, to be honest. So long since I got this. I think at the same time, they also give me the another Imperial Stout, which is the same as this, I believe. It's the same recipe, which is the Butcher, which I did a long time ago. Um, I, I presume I liked it. I can't really remember too much, to, to be fair. Um, and I didn't want to watch that review before I did this because then I didn't want to have the I didn't want to regurgitate everything I've seen because it'll just be in your head then. So I was thinking maybe it's better if I just don't, and we'll just go in blind to well not blind but blindish. So there's nine different malts in it. Um, I could tell you the recipe, but it's actually on my phone. And my phone's recording this, so that's not going to happen. But I think there is actually nine, or is there's ten? There's oats as well, so there might actually be ten. There's loads, basically. So this is it. So this is supposed to be open to Christmas. Never got round to it. Look, it's even got wax around the top. Look at that, amazing. Hopefully that camera's picking that up. Brilliant. Sixty-five of one hundred and eighty. I'm guessing that that there's. It says sixty-five of one hundred and eighty. I'm guessing was there like a hundred and eighty bottles? Is that what it was? Would there really be hundred and eighty bottles? No, you would never get hundred and eighty bottles. Sixty-five, and that's bottle sixty-five. I don't know. It's not a gusher. That's good. Ooh, that was whiskey on that. That's a lot of whiskey. Holy crap. Holy moly. Holy cannoli. Evil Knievel. Light carbonation. It looks like it looks thick though, my god. It looks really thick. Oh, that's intense. That is intense. So it doesn't say anything other about the recipe other than it's a barrel aged chocolate imperial stout. That's it. So, oh, I mean, it looks like a, an imperial stout. I mean, the difference between a stout and an imperial stout is that head. You just, you can tell straight away the colour of that really dark brown type of thing. And it just looks, it just looks thick in the glass. And then you move it from side and you see that lacing. Oh my goodness, it's just sticking to the glass, my God. That's going to be sticking to the inside of my throat very soon. And then sticking to my stomach. And then probably sticking to the toilet as it's coming up. No, it won't be coming up. I've got to go to work tomorrow, so. Saturday, I know, working Saturday, I know, it's ridiculous. So, enough of that. Let's go. There is the ton of the whiskey on that, but there's kind of less in the glass than there is in the bottle, strangely. 
I mean, maybe it's because it says chocolate stout on it that I'm, I think I can smell the chocolate. I can definitely smell something, but it's not, it's certainly not milk chocolate. It would be like kind of really rich, real rich dark chocolate. And then that, just that kind of really dark licorice type of um, aroma. Coffee. And just intense, almost. It, I was going to say it almost smells like a spirit, but because it's so intense, but maybe it is because it's like barrel aged, so. It smells pretty good. Smells like a proper Imperial Stout. You're gonna do an Imperial Stout then. You know what? Go with the whole hog. Cheers, Gav. I'm going in. What's that? Not sure. Something went boop, boop. Okay. Let's do it again. Cheers, Gav. That is, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, it's big. You know it's going to be big on the mouth. It reminds me in a way of the, that insane, um, uh, Isla Whiskey, Whiskey Porter I did last year. And that is just, when you take it in, you just get the hit with the whiskey flavour. Straight away. With this one though, it suddenly gets very sweet. Get hit with the whiskey, really kind of intense. And then that starts to fade and the sweetness comes in. More of the kind of the kind of intense licorice coffee type of um, flavor, maybe from the malts, and then a bit of that chocolate on the end. Is that my, is that my phone doing that, or what's going on here? I'm just hearing this boop boop because that's really annoying. Just notifications coming through. I hate notifications. Really should have turned them off. You'd think the phone would know. It's supposed to be a smartphone, but how smart is it if it doesn't know to turn off bloody notifications when you're trying to make a video? It will be interesting to see whether that actually comes out in the video or whether it's just me going, Fuck's sake, I'm fucking it, fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's get back to the video. That does, that is what that reminds me of. It's just, it's really intense at the start. And then it just goes, it goes really sweet. So it's a bit like, it definitely is a bit like the kind of, that porter I did last year with all that, like three quarters of all of um, scotch in it. And it's just an assault on the senses. Which is not necessarily a bad thing when you're doing a beer like this. Because, you know, you got to put some bells and whistles on it sometimes. And then that kind of intense sweetness. The intense sweetness is a bit more like the kind of the beer that I did for this Christmas beer. Which didn't turn out quite... It didn't. It was, definitely wasn't perfect, but there was a real kind of intense um, sweetness to it. And that's kind of the same thing. So maybe it's something to do with the, um, it finished very high. I, I mean, it's, I think it said on the recipe that Gavin sent me at the time. Because he sent me the brew sheets, but I, obviously I can't remember them now. There's, it's gone again. It's doing it again.
what did it say the whiskey was? It's like some kind of, uh, I can't pronounce it. Cola. It, I mean, it looks like cola. C-A-O-L space L-L-A. Whiskey cast. I really should have done my homework before I uh, I cracked this open, but I hadn't actually read. I didn't even know there was anything. I hadn't seen in ages. All I've seen is the bloody bird. Every time I open it, I was like, oh, I'm going to drink that. So, yeah. I don't know if that's kind of some kind of special whiskey or is that, is that, presumably that's Irish whiskey, is it? Or is it Scotch whiskey? It might be Scotch. I'm not really sure. The Scotch and Irish share a common history, don't they? So. Did I just refer to the Scots as the Scotch? Sorry, I've just I've just rem I've remembered something from years back about um, probably told this story before um, about my brother's wedding and he's getting married up in the Highlands and um, just I'd say in Elgin actually is it Elgin yeah I think it is it's up it's up in the kind of Aberdeenshire anyway. And um, my mum and dad obviously were going, and they just kept referring to this the Scotch, the Scotch, the Scotch all the time, and talking about like the people. And then yeah, and then my dad told this joke, which I'm not going to repeat now. I have repeated, I think, on the on the live shows, but we're not doing that. So because it's offensive to you know a certain group of people. So yeah, I think that is definitely, I like that. I do like that. It, it's just, it is it is very like the one that I brewed in that, just that intense whiskey. I think mine was even more intense than that, to be fair, because it was like smoke malt plus the peated whiskey. Peated smoke malt, I should say, plus the peated whiskey. So it was a real kind of, I mean, it was... No, it was one for the purists, let's say that. One for the lunatics, like me. But yeah, that is, uh, reminds me of that. Just in the intensity. But you know what? When you've tasted, you tasted my version, and then you taste that, that's really... Mm -hmm. Doing it again, look. Yeah, so when you tasted my version and then you taste that, that's really not. That's not anywhere near it. That level of insanity. I like that. I do like that. I, I do. I have really, really enjoyed all the big beers I've been drinking over Christmas and into January. And I'm not one for massive beers for drinking big Imperial Stouts. But I have really, really enjoyed them this year. And I think I might do something for um, for Christmas next year, sooner rather than later, and let it condition as long as possible. I mean, that I've had that for like, not a year, but almost, for a couple of months. And I'm not sure how long it was in the cask for, and yeah, even how long it was in the bottle, so... And it just always comes out perfect. Like that. I mean, how do you not enjoy drinking that? I'm going to keep recording until I drink the lot. I'm going to keep talking. And hopefully I'm not going to say anything offensive. Um, but hopefully uh, we shall... We shall, yeah, well, that's definitely not say anything offensive. Let's put it like that. My mind was starting to wander there. It's the it's the alcohol in that. It's the 9% is now catching up with me very quickly. And then it's turning my brain to stupid, so. Really kind of 
definitely get that chocolate on the end, but it is being overshadowed by the by that whiskey taste. Definitely the whiskey taste is there. Um, right at the front. And it's there all the way through. There are all the other flavours coming through as well, but mainly it's kind of that whiskey at the start. I mean, I'm sure someone would taste that and all, that is all they can taste is the whiskey. But there is definitely something in behind. But I mean, that's not a, that's not a bad thing. The fact that that is insane whiskey, and I know there are people out there who enjoy that type of beer, who would enjoy that type of beer. Just something big and insane like that. Just the way it takes over the beer. But there is still enough in reserve that you're tasting it like after it's gone, long after it's gone. Yeah, I really like that. I do like that. I, I mean, I love Imperial Stouts now. So I'm thinking about maybe going down to the bottle shop. Uh, I'm going to work tomorrow. Like actually going to work. Not working from home. And I might. So I might get up early, do a couple of hours. And then nip down to the bottle shop and see if I can pick up something. A couple of um a couple of bottles. I'm not sure what they've got, but I'm sure they've got a mountain of stuff like but uh I'll see if I can pick up a couple of these. Or no, not a couple of these, but a couple of Imperial Stouts or something like that. Because I really I'm really loving the Imperial Stouts at the moment. Just fantastic. Really fantastic. This video is going to be like another 40 minute session, isn't it? Okay, we're going in for the last little bit. There's probably more than a mouthful in there. And probably should sip over it, but I'm going in. Oh, it's just that kind of... It's the whiskey that hits you. But the when you mix whiskey with that kind of sweet um, stout, it's just a bloody, it's, it's a really kind of, it's a unique kind of taste. One that I really like. And it, it agrees with me. But uh, yeah, wow. Okay. I like that. I did like that. That's our Grand Dove. Let's call it that. So G R I A N, not Green. Grand. My Irish is very limited. Let's say that. But yeah, I like that very much. Um, and that's it. I have no more beer in my fridge as well, too. So all I've got is what's in the keyser and what I can pick up tomorrow. So. Thank you very much, Gavin, for sending that to me.